Hello everyone, let's uh, check out some summer sandals from Givenchy, Valentino and Bottega Veneta. I have ordered all of these pairs online and I have not paid for them yet, hence I'm not sure if I will keep any of them, so I will show them to you and uh, you can make your guess in the comments if you think I kept any or which one do you like best. I would also like to mention that both, not both, all three of them are size, European size 40. So I'm normally a 39 and a half, but for security as well for comfort and in case um, the leather is a bit tight, I always size half a size up. So let's do this. First stop on the list, I've got the Givenchy. And they are called the Off-White um, 4G Sandals, I guess. That's their name. No idea. All right. Let's see. I removed the lid before because it is tough to do that one-handed. So we've got a black dust bag. Well, two black dust bags, but I was just going to open one. Givenchy, very nice and sleek. And we have got, these are the 4G sandals. So I'm guessing 4G because of the logo. And they are European size 40 made in Italy, full leather. Hmm, I like that they have a padding here, but what worries me is this part where it would actually perhaps cause me some blisters as I walk and sweat. This is very, very harsh leather, hard leather, so I don't know. Um, I don't usually go for cream colored sandals, but they were a really good price, so I thought, why not? Okay, we have here the Givenchy 4G sandals. Let's go on to Valentino which I really like. I own two pair of um, Rockstad sneakers and they're amazing. And I'm going to show you how these are called first off. They're called, I have no idea, something slide narrow. So again, size 40. Okay, so they come with some, probably some cards, dust bag, tissue paper. A lot of tissue paper, protective paper, and ta-da! Again, 40 made in Italy, full leather. Yeah, mm -hmm. nice. I like the studs. I've always liked the studs on shoes, on their shoes, but not on their bags. I think they look dangerous on the bags. Um, I don't know. Let's do the same. Oh, don't slide. Stay with me here. So we've got, uh, perhaps, you know, do it like this. Givenchy, Valentino, and La Pièce de Résistance, which I have never tried on before, I've never seen in person. I do not like Bottega's bags. I just find them batshit ugly and totally expensive, but okay, it's a tasting, right? So I hear their leather is amazing. Let's see, plain white paper, plain white, oh, look at that. Very, very nice. They're probably their trademark green, I would say. Very fluffy dust bags, very substantial and Inside, um, hmm, <laughs> okay, very interesting sole again, full leather, 40 made in Italy, solid, solid structure, very soft leather, but, um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. So how are these called? I haven't showed you the name yet. Let me just flip the box on its side so that 
we get a name which we don't have for them. But they go Veneta. That's that's pretty much all I have for you. So, this being said, I'm going to give you an overview of the shoes. So, Givenchy Valentino Garavani Bottega Veneta. Which one, if any, do you think I kept? I will not try them. Well. Perhaps I could try them on, but I have my, so my toenails are not done. I have no pedicure on, hence. But whatever, let's keep it real, right? Let's keep it real for the sake of internet. So here we have these. Um, I don't... Mm, yeah, they're they're nice. I'm totally not overwhelmed. Then I'll take the Valentino, which yeah, tight as you can see, tight. Mm, a bit disappointed in the Valentinos because. Their Rockstad are amazing and these are not so amazing. Okay, let's try Bottega. Um, <laughs> yeah. It's not happening. Seems like my foot can't go through. Okay, epic fail, Bottega, epic fail. So, these are the three. Let me know what you think. Thank you for watching.